Indeed. He Did had I? made numerous vows in his life, one of which is to protect the royal family. Sadly, for unknown reasons, Princess Ada holds little respect for him. Vows, however, must be honored, whatever the circumstances. And how are you involved? Are you bound by his vows by extension? He authorized me to speak hey, on his behalf, and I serve as his advisor. Of course. I unfortunately have not played Last you. of Us. Come, Geralt. So I apologize profusely. Apparently, I'm missing her. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. We're gonna talk to you now. Okay. All right. We're gonna save. Okay. And this time, we're not gonna be a dingus. Milady. God, why do you have so many guys? Just please, uh, Marigold. And there's so do many. Of, oh. I know who stands oh. before me. That's a lot we of legs. Each other. Do we not, Witcher? Are you an One octopus? Say so, just, princess. I'm an octopus. Princess, indeed. She Though looks. I do not you know what? Feel like With one. the crown so and all those legs, indeed. she could be Ursula. You could not imagine, Witcher. Why do you stare? Is my dress displeasing? Forgive me, milady, but even the finest dress would pale in comparison to you. Mind your tongue, mutant. Duet. I will decide if and when I am offended. Mm. Your Highness, he is an aberration. Silence. It was a nicety. Leave us now. I love now. zombies, Ranger. I love them to death. You shall be summoned when I need you. Awesome. Have I met everyone? Oh no, we gotta go talk to Lou Barden again. Who isn't an octopus these days? I'm a squid. Of Lilia and Triss Merigold, welcome. Greetings. I thank you for coming. Uh, look about the room and you will see the entire kingdom represented. We thank you for your invitation. Forgive me, up. I must return to my duties. True. I'm certain we'll speak later. You've met everyone who's anyone. I need to speak with Levarden. You behave yourself. Beware of anyone who tries to pry information from you. From I me. shall answer with but one I'm of my three swords. Don't be fooled. Anything you say may have political ramifications. Then I shall say nothing and still have political ramifications. Why did they all come if they dislike Luvarden? Alright. Who's the most important? You know what? I will pick the best way. Alright. Harold, I'm looking at you on accident. Let us speak with you. Welcome to Lord Levarden's feast. Next. After that, the tournament was a mere formality. All right, I will speak to the tiles on the floor. All right, wait a minute. The white ones are lava, so we can't. Don't step up. Oh God. Oh wait, that's lava. All right, no, we're good. We're good. All right, all right. Lava, lava, La lava. La that dwarven lady is not there to demand repayment. Speak freely, Geralt, but no politics. I want to ask about the princess. No politics. About the curse. Shh. I could use something stronger. Fine. Ask. Does the princess have strange dreams? How would I know? I've not spoken to Ada without one of those bastards from the Order prison. Any strange behavior? You're awfully close to treason. I'm not asking out of want for political influence. Huh? Our sweet princess is completely normal. Well, uh, her head's a little messed up. Is she aggressive? On occasion, but not unusual for a spoiled damsel. I don't know, she's... What? Well... Spit it out. She needs a man to give her a proper lay. Right. Uh, must go. Later. <laughs> Oh, Jesus! Who are you? She's is most exquisite with a red S.S. Toussaint, 1228. You don't need... Oh, you're mysterious. Why are, are you following me? The food will disappear soon. Hey, you have a vow of silence. I'll talk to you. Vow of silence. That's very interesting. Tell me about it over a couple of drinks. My good sir, you seem to be drinking, um, through your helmet. Cat lock. Oh, cut. <laughs> That's good. 
That was good. I've never drank to passing out before. <laughs> Alright, I'm good. I'm good. Alright, wait. I gotta go back to the party, guys. Wait. Alright. Wait. Oh, no, it's back this way. Okay. Alright. Sorry, I just... That local pepper vodka was a little peppery for my taste. It wasn't the alcohol! I might have to stop by my box and get some more booze. Really? You know what Morden did at the time. Get out of my way! Remind me. We arrive on horseback in full armor, all polished and oiled. Morden hugged his steed with his knees and knelt. And then he pulled himself up, so horse and all! Strike me dead. And after that, the tournament was a mere formality. Morden's the man. Could you get out of the door? Ah! Aha! Wait, I think I'm out of booze. Damn it, that's bottled water. I've got wine. Alright, we're gonna have to... We'll see if the dude wants wine, but, uh... Aha! Round two, my good man! My good men. Men? Manly men. He's men, manly men. Men, manly men. There's so many men. Good lord, this man is a machine! That's not armor at all! That's his skin! Princess Ada should marry. <sighs> You're talking! Undrunk. He speaks. I broke my vow. I swore on a heron. A heron? A bird? Nonsense. Tala hired me to come incognito to the feast. <laughs> <laughs> no scene, please. This ring will get you in the house of the night half price. Yes! Aha! Ah! Ha 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 ha! I want to talk to you. Wait, let's save her. Enjoying yourself? Fantastically! Not enough food, nowhere to sit, and nothing but small talk. And I may be the only one here not involved in one of the many schemes or secret alliances being forged. It's a sign of the times. New customs and fashions. You think it better to show the Nilfgaardian we're barbarians? That we can't yes. distinguish between a fork and a comb? Yes. That the only way we know how to feast is to get blind drunk and roar lusty songs while slapping the serving wenches on their ass? I'm a yeah. relic. Someone from the past, so I'm rather attached to the old customs. Never understood nor liked the new ones. But really, Taller, why are you here? I'm a patriot. I'm the good of the kingdom at heart. A kingdom threatened by the schemes and alliances you were observant enough to note. I said I was an old-fashioned witcher. Be straight, like Taller the Fence would be. Taller the Fence does nothing for free. Taller the Fence is a scoundrel who'd prefer the Temple District not know he consorts with the cream of Vizima society. Oh, the blackmail's real! Right? Let me tell you, friend, a serious slash fest is in the works. One without pardon. The defeated will be picked apart by crows. You'll be forced to fight for a new order, comrade, or against it. We will fight for our traditions and customs, for our land and our women. Women! Who's here, here! Enemy? Who wants to steal our women? They're all asking the important questions. I think you're one of us. It's a cause we share. I don't know the enemy yet, but I will soon, and when I do, the time of the sword and the axe will come. Blood will flow in the streets. And know this, comrade. There will be no room for your neutrality. Who exactly is DeWet? And what is he doing here? That Nilfgaardian dog is a mere pawn. I cannot fathom why Ada tolerates him. Explain. Like most knights of the order, he worries his dick's too small. True. So he gets aggressive whenever something scares him. Then of course, That's why Geralt never gets scared. Our princess has some weaknesses, but stupidity is not one of them. Maybe the princess has a game of her own going. Then she should choose better allies. 
Unlike chess, this game claims lives. I'm afraid someone might be God, I wish you would stop moving around. You know, didn't he used to wear a monocle? Because I swear, I see two lenses. Clearly he is now wearing glasses. Is Luvardin somehow involved? I need to get Urk in a private meeting with him. At present, his intentions are a pure riddle. To me, too. Really? What do you mean? Your friend seems to get along famously with Livarden. For two strangers, they certainly have much to discuss. Please don't tell me they're banging on the table. I trust Triss. I suppose you know her better than I, but don't say I didn't warn you. Regarding Luvarden, we know he had some transnational well organization of merchants, like. bankers, and other wealthy folk. Make what you will of it. Who exactly are you? And be straight with me, comrade. Russian. Temerian intelligence. I execute the king's direct orders. I find traitors, rats, and foreign agents. I'm a spy. A highly placed spy. Saying that rather I can't deny party. it. May I ask a personal question? The amphibians you're after, are they a personal matter or an ideological one? Both. Care to explain? They robbed me and killed a friend. They're criminal, evil. Salamandra upsets the balance. As a witcher, I can't ignore that. Got it. Thank you for being candid. Why do you want to draw me into a game that doesn't concern me? This game concerns you more than you imagine. You mean to tell me you're not interested in the conflict between the Order and the Scoia'tael? You mean to tell me you don't care? What about your lover, Triss Merigold? I have That's a lot private. of lovers to say. I want to destroy Salamandra. That is my only objective. Salamandra has a patron. Someone in this room, or one known here. You're up to your ears in this, Wolf, whether you like it or not. Alright, well, if that's true, if someone in we'll this room later. is a spy for Salamandra, we can rule out Thaler. Maybe. I actually trust him. And I think we can rule out Luvardin, because he's actually paid us to fight against Salamandra on several different occasions. So, that leaves the mayor, who I don't think it is. Whatever his name was, Valadrin or whatever. That leaves this mysterious nobleman. Mysterious is part of his name. Waste of words. That seems uh, suspicious. The nobles were hit hardest by the plague. Damned recruits. And then both of these ones. I feel like I can trust her just because she's got. I mean, uh, because uh, she knows Geralt and uh, yeah, something like that. Um, I don't trust him just because he's part of the old order. It could be Harold. I think it might be Harold. Alright, given a chance, we gotta kill Harold, just saying. Alright, you're a douchebag. Let's Get talk to you. Out of my sight, freak. Fair enough. Witcher, you may approach. <coughs> Duet, fetch me some wine. From that page boy at the end of the room. Your Sorry. Highness. We may speak freely now. Geralt. Tell me about witches, and please, don't hide behind your code. What are you asking, milady? What is your view on politics? To me, politics is like an encounter with a lover. Would you agree? Good lord, chicken, that sounds terrible. Is a rock elemental like a random spawn or something? I am impressed by the Like comparison. with any test, the longest Have answer you ever tried has your to be hand at the fine arts, your highness? I am forced to study all kinds of nonsense, but books bore me, as does poetry for the most part. I agree. Books are for bores. Never mind. Back to our lovers ambulating about the room. You see, Witcher, politics is not unlike a tryst. It begins with foreplay, glances, conversations, Behold that witch with Luvard. Now look to our noble Urkin and the courtiers. The dance grows bolder, fondling and such. Then one is consumed oh, good Lord, by the she desire come to come together roughly, like animals. I was not Finally, listening to her at all. I was talking 